Well, a baby is born, a precious baby boy. And this baby's name is JT. But JT didn't come into the world like most of us do. This little man was conceived through drug use, homelessness, domestic violence. He would be born with no prenatal care, poisoned blood, and addicted to alcohol and cocaine. He would be given 24 hours to live, but in the end, he would survive. And his reward, he would enter our foster care system. The question is, what family will be willing to take JT home? What family will be willing to step out, to step up, and to help this child in need, not really knowing what the future holds? The answer, almost no one. See, right now in the state of Oklahoma, roughly 8,000 children are in foster care. And that number's only on the rise with the opioid crisis, trafficking. You can only imagine, you see it every day on the news. That number keeps going up. Our foster care system is not ready for that influx in care. These children are isolated behind closed doors. They don't have hope. And even, even in the most perfect situation, we find that family, that family's willing to open their heart, willing to open their home. How in the world can we imagine, how in the world could we think that this family would be able to handle those needs on their own? They feel isolated. But what if I told you we were able to replace isolation with community. You know, some say it takes a village to raise a child, but I believe it takes a ranch. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tanya Ratcliffe. I am executive director and mother of many for Pepper's Ranch Foster Care Community. Pepper's Ranch is a foster care community of excellence. We serve Oklahoma foster children from birth to beyond. Right now, on 600 acres, we are a privately funded, debt-free community, a neighborhood of foster families, serving sibling groups who, well, once had to be separated by a zip code. Now, they're entering care as a family unit. These foster families are incredible people. The community as a whole is truly equipped with everything you could imagine. The community itself, it's a neighborhood where families are thriving, where children find not only a home, but a family. Now, the families at Pepper's Ranch are pretty special people. And the reason I say that is because they specialize in high capacity living. I know you're like, what in the world? High capacity living, very simply put, they're able to love a lot of kids. And when I say a lot of kids, Roughly, there's eight children in every home at Pepper's Ranch. You see, 17 families and 130 children call Pepper's Ranch home. Now, eight children, think about it. That's more than the Brady Bunch, right? <laughs> Move on over, Carol Brady. <laughs> Though it's these families that are choosing this lifestyle, the kids, they didn't choose their history. They didn't choose what happened to them but these families love them anyway. Can you imagine a child, drug exposure, domestic violence, abandonment, all of these things, but these families say yes. Children who are very special, a very special breed, they're these, have you heard of them? They're called teenagers, right? <laughs> Some of these teenagers have no hope. Their thought is they're too old to find a home and they're too old to be loved but our families think otherwise. Now, though it's the families at Pepper's Ranch that make our community unbelievably loving, it's the services support on the community that make our community so therapeutic. So in the middle, sitting right in the center of our community is an 11,000 square foot learning center. This is where success in education takes flight through academic tutoring, where art therapy heals hearts from traumatic events that children really wish they could just forget. Where 
Children interact with gentle giants in a 30,000 square foot equestrian center, learning hope and learning trust and learning respect again. All of these right across the pond and not across town. True community-centered support. Now, let me just tell you, being a foster family, it's not easy. Embracing a child of trauma is not easy. It's not. But can you imagine having 17 families, your neighbors who walk your walk and talk your talk every single day? The children who were once truly classified as a minority are the majority in this community. That's their next door neighbor. And though every single one of them have a story, we make it clear that story doesn't define them. The families at Pepper's Ranch, no longer in isolation. No weird neighbor questioning their hidden motives. No you know, labeling of their, their family, of their children. My personal favorite, when I'm in the grocery store with my 13, are those all yours? Every one of them. <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> Do you need a couple? <sighs> Only love. Only compassion for not only what our children overcame, but more importantly, what they're going to overcome. For us as parents, as, as, as what we lose and as what we gain, our family, our community is there, stepping in, supporting us, there for us in every situation. Foster care does not come with a manual. Every situation in foster care is different, and we're okay with that. We're there to embrace those families in their time of need because in the end, community wins. In reunification, community wins. In adoption, community wins. Say it with me, community wins. Community wins. Remember JT? JT, that little boy that was born? That little boy is my son. We're that family. We are that family that said yes. We are that family that took that road of uncertainty, and thank God we did, because that little man makes us better people every single day. And what he will become is going to be something spectacular. And he will not reproduce a statistic. He will produce success. And I know that as his mother. The families at Pepper's Ranch live where community wins. The fight to be born alive is the last fight J.T. Ratcliffe will ever have to win on his own. Because that little guy will win with a community behind him every day until the day he dies. And that is a win. Pepper's Ranch is a complete, a complete disruption of the foster care status quo. Our nation struggles as its own third world country with the current foster care crisis. And I am here to represent that Pepper's Ranch is that model that can eradicate that. It is through our community. <laughs> because community wins. And so that child, that child that, you know, people think, oh, they're looking for a house. No, friends, they're looking for more. They're looking for a home. They're looking for a community, and then they're looking for a family because in the end, they will win. We are Pepper's Ranch. Welcome home. Yeah.